First of all, I send you greetings from all of us on our spiritual retreat cruise circumnavigating the island of Cuba. It says in 2 Corinthians 3 verse 17, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. For freedom to take place in you, you have to have freedom from a lot of things, a lot of human things, worry, uh, resentment, anger, all those little human things that rob us of spiritual life. The freedom, the strength, and security that you need come from the sure knowledge that you're not alone. The Spirit of God is with you and within you, and you can always be more than you ever have been before. You can express this. Through Christ, you are free. The power of Christ is greater than any habit or circumstance that you face. As you turn to God, you discover, or maybe rediscover, your strength and your power beyond what your efforts alone could ever produce. Don't ever put your faith in your efforts alone. Know that with God, you can do all. The freeing spirit of Christ gives you the courage to stand firm on your faith. And whenever you meet with doubt, whenever you meet with disbelief, you turn your thoughts to God. You give thanks that the divine spirit is all around you and within you and is truly freedom and security. Through Christ, you are free. You are an unwavering center of stability and strength. And you become the person you truly desire to be.